just make that linear. Ooh, that affected this. Here, one sec. I'm just gonna grab this handle and not do that. Um, oh, I need to break it again. Weird. What? Oh, huh. I wasn't on translate. My bad. Okay. And I'll fix this one too. Break the tangent. And fix that. That should help it. That's good enough. I mean, it's not going to win any awards, but uh, it's good enough. I'm just going to save it, just in case uh, Maya crashes. And uh, to export this, you just go to uh, File, and uh, Export All uh, with the options. And then uh, File Type, Colada Exporter. Oh, uh, if this doesn't show up, um, you know, make sure that you've installed the plugin for one. Um, but go to Window, and then Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager, and uh, right here, Colada MLL, uh, do loaded, auto loaded, refresh, and close, and not, then it'll come up as an option. Um, ch 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 that's all fine. Bake transformations, relative paths, uh, triangulate, those are all things that you want. Um, let's see here. Lights won't export um, and work with paper vision, so you don't have to do that. Uh, I don't think cameras export either. Um, you might as well just leave joints and skin on, because... Uh, Later, when you actually use like uh, joints and skin on your model, like if you're doing a character, uh, you'll want this checked. So just leave it on. Um, it's really not going to add that much to your file size. Yes, we want animations. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think Paper Ridge does physics, so I don't think we need that. Um, we don't need invisible nodes. Uh, what? Um, we want normals, we want texture coordinates. Probably don't need per vertex colors. Um, those can stay off. That's fine. That's fine. Um, leave that on. So these settings are good and you just do export and just go to your folder and you want to save it in the same folder as you have your Maya file and you want to make sure that you have your textures in the same folder so if I just open that folder real quick um, here's the Maya file here's my texture and I'm going to export uh, my animation to that folder as well so I'm just going to call this Maya Cube Anim and export. And it'll export your your timeline. So let's see here. I, I might have exported too much. Yeah, I'm going to just pull it back one frame so that it loops. Because my last frame before was the same frame as my first frame. So if I, you know, just knock off one frame off the end, it'll loop seamlessly. So I'm just going to export that again. So export all. And uh, it remembers, you know, your same settings as before. So export all. And anim2. Dot DAE.
Okay, and it should have exported. Just gonna minimize that. And um, if you don't have this, it's the PaperVision 3D Previewer. Go download it. It's pretty handy. Uh, what you want to do is copy and paste the SWF to the same folder as your .die file. So I'm just going to open up the SWF and right click load mesh and load in you know Maya Cube Anim 2. So we just made and it's really annoying because the uh, the Maya exporter Collada exporter exports things really small but in paper vision like in Flar manager if you're doing this for augmented reality you can scale it up really easily um, so that's probably the the easiest way to work is just you know work at, on it on a normal size in Maya export it and just know that you're gonna have to uh, adjust the scale of the model inside of your action script so if I just click it we can see our little cube jumping back and forth cool so that's how you uh, export and animate a 3d model for paper vision 3d uh, just using your transformations uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this is Ben Jones signing off